Hey there. Um, that was my intro. I did that intro because um, I had already reached 50 subscribers. So thank you so much for subscribing to me. And uh, I really appreciate it, guys. If you have any question at all about my videos or anything related, please don't hesitate to ask. And um, you're my inspiration in so doing my videos. So thank you so much for the sub and um, I do hope you would like my future videos including this one I also advise you guys to check out my YouTube partners they're on my channel they have some cool tutorials that might interest you so anyway I'm going to talk about GIMP again in this video because I had featured GIMP in a lot of videos of mine now and um, you might want to check those out as well Basically, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to create abstract wallpapers, like my background here. So I had done this using GIMP, which is really cool, because as I had said, GIMP is pretty much like Photoshop, except that it's for free. So uh, I think it's really cool. You can have many applications with GIMP. So some of you may have heard of this before, but this is for the benefit of those who don't know yet. So anyway, all you have to do is go to File, hit New, so we can have our new workspace here. And then you change your image size to whatever screen size you have. So in my case, I'll just set it to 1024 by 768 pixels, hit OK. And it's really easy, it's really simple to do. So all you have to do is pass this to a filter. If you want white background, but since I'm more of a dark um, colors, because I really like dark colors, so I'll go with black. So it's really up to you on what background you would like. Uh, like in my current uh, wallpaper, this is made with black background. So to do that, all you have to do is go to your fill toolbar or your fill tool, okay, your bucket fill tool, like so, and then hit black or whatever color you want, and just fill it up, like so. And then you pass this to a filter called render. So under render, you have other patterns, other designs here, like clouds, nature, circuit, lava, whichever you want, but I'll go with nature because we're after the abstract design here. So we go to nature, then go to flame. Because flame basically lets you create cosmic recursive fractal frames. Okay, whatever that means, my wallpaper, it's made with that. So let's just hit flame. And the flame window will show up like so. So as you can see here, here's a preview of what your image is going to be. You can change that with zoom if you want to zoom out if you want to zoom in you can also change the X offset the Y offset the brightness contrast and many other details you might want to alter and of course the color map so we'll go with sunny harvest like so if you want to choose the color of your choice you go to your foreground and background colors so let's say I want um, green and blue so I'll go with green for my foreground I'll hit my background and I'll make it blue so I have green and blue here so again you pass it to the filter uh, so render so we have filter render nature flame hit that and as you can see it's green and blue because I had selected custom gradient here and the custom gradient here will be based on your default colors on your foreground and your background here alright so I'm satisfied with this just hit OK and wait for your image to be done and this tells you the status of your image so it's still loading Let's just minimize this. I'm going to show you the other stuff that I had done with the other filters. So this is done using the plasma filter. This one. This is plasma. This one is done with the clouds filter. OK. 
Okay. These are the other um, image images I made with um, the nature flame filter. So here's another one, and here's another one. So it's really up to you and how your image would look like, because it's your wallpaper. You have fun with it, okay? Instead of getting wallpapers from you know other sites and all that just create your own wallpaper because it's basically yours and uh, it's really cool that you can not only um, make your own but in a way develop your creativity so I think that's pretty cool so we just wait for this to be loaded <laughs> So any minute, just wait for it to be loaded, like so. So anyway, it, it takes time because it really depends on the, uh, your preferences. So here we are, and there's my image. So if you're satisfied with what it looks like, you go to File, go to Save As, okay? then uh, don't forget this uh, you put in the name so uh, let's say it's sample dot jpg okay save it as a jpeg file or if you don't want to type in that you can select by extension here so you have a bunch of extension names here you have your gif file you have your ico file I'll go with jpeg save it replace because I had already sampled there, so I'll save it now. And here we are. So we'll just open it. So here is our new wallpaper. Just right click, select set as desktop background, and I'm just going to quickly show you how it looks like. have a bunch of open windows here so anyway and here's our wallpaper so it really is up to you on how your image would look like so there you go uh, thanks for watching this video I do hope you enjoyed that and uh, thanks for watching as always have fun <laughs>